First, I just cut off a piece of wood off of a free palette that I got. And I did have somebody ask me why I've never tried the paint from Dollar Tree. So here I am using some red paint from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use a baby wipe to apply this on. So that way it acts almost like a wood stain without using any harsh chemicals that are inside of wood stain. Go ahead and allow that to completely dry. And I really like how it came out. It's a really thin paint, but it works. And then I got this wall hook from Dollar Tree. Just gonna find a good placement for it on the bottom piece of my wood. Just pre-drill some holes and then just go ahead and screw that hanger right on now this hanger did come with some screws but they were a little too long for my piece of wood so i just used some shorter screws that i had lying around now i made this stencil off of my cricut machine want to just take that off of its backing you want to just do this nice and slow to make sure that everything is sticking to the transfer tape and once you have that, go ahead and find a good placement onto the top portion of that piece of wood. Use a little scraper tool to make sure that all the vinyl is completely adhered to that piece of wood. And then just start taking off that transfer tape. You wanna just make sure you're peeling that off slowly to make sure that all of the vinyl is sticking to your piece of wood. And then I just cut off a piece of Dollar Tree sponge, just using some white acrylic paint. You wanna just dab some excess paint off of the sponge and just start dabbing that paint all throughout the stencil with light dabbing motions. And then go ahead and just peel off that vinyl and then I made some snowflake stencils off of my Cricut as well. Just place those down randomly throughout that piece of wood. And again, just use some more of that white acrylic paint and just dabbed it on using my cut up Dollar Tree sponge. And also the font that I am using for the Merry Christmas is in the font Magnolia Sky. And there that is all put together. Now go ahead and grab some stockings. And you just created your own DIY stocking holder for super duper cheap. Literally the only thing that I paid for was that wall hook. So I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.